Hey everyone, we're going to read today Mingo the Flamingo, but I want you to see who's with me today. Our chiropractic assistant, Marky. Hello. Yay. <laughs> so let's see where Mingo takes us. Today was the big day. For the first time, Mingo was about to head south for the winter. His bags were packed and he was ready to fly. The journey did not get off to a good start. They flew straight into a storm. Boom, clap, thunder, lightning. Mingo, oh no. Ah! Mingo flew down, down, down. down. <laughs> sure, oh, Mingo had landed in a very strange place. You ever seen such a thing? Sure, seems strange. What is it? A golf club, said Rooster. It's most definitely a mustache, said Goat. No, it belongs on the front lawn, said Mouse. Mother Hen pushed them aside. No, 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 this poor baby is hurt and I'm here to help. Oh my God. <laughs> you had quite a fall, Mother Hen said to Mingo. Can you remember anything at all? Mingo suddenly realized he had no idea who he was. Mingo watched the other animals. Maybe I'm just like one of you. Oink, nay, ba. Moo, cock a doodle doo. Nope, nothing felt right. Don't worry, said Mother Hen. You have a home until you figure it out. Wow, that sounds like a lot of college students. We're a big family, but there's always room for one more. Slowly but surely. He began to feel like he'd been down on the farm forever. But still, something was not quite right. Hmm. What's the matter, asked Mouse. Before he could answer, Mingo heard something. He rushed outside, high in the sky. Geese were flying south. Mingo shouted, I remember. I'm a flamingo. I can fly too. He turned to Mouse. I have to fly home. Slow down, friend, said Mouse. Before you take off, you need to get that busted wing into shape. I'll be your personal trainer. Mingo ran, he pulled, he even did one wing push-ups. Soon his wing was stronger than ever. Mingo was ready to take off. From the top of the barn, Mingo said, goodbye everyone, thanks for the memories. Then Mingo spread his newly pumped up wings. Three, two, one, thump. Oh no, I'm not as strong as I thought, he muttered from under the snow. I'll never get home again, said Mingo. But little did Mingo know, his friends were one step ahead. They had a plan. A flying machine! Thank you, thank you. The propeller spun, the engine roared, Mingo took off. Up, 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 high into the sky. After many days, Mingo touched down. Mom, Dad, I'm home. Yay. Yay. We hope you have enjoyed hearing about Mingo. He's pretty stellar. And we'll see you soon.